Hello, it's Marie Mandolin again. I worked in the studio trying to get this on film, but the camera that I borrowed is not as good as the lady claimed it to be. Anyway, uh, I want you to, this week in your tutorial, have color. And I'm using the color wheel that I made. Um, to learn about color and what it does. Now, color has temperature. As you see, it's, uh, it's divided in two here. The warm colors and the cool colors. Then there's the primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. Now, if you mix yellow and blue, it will give you green. If you mix yellow and red, it will give you orange. And if you mix red and blue, you will get violet. I want you to do this bullseye color wheel uh, and all the wedge shapes. There's 12 of them. And there's seven rings all together. Put in your white. And you'll have to buy some paint if you don't have any. This is in oils, so that would be better if you worked in oils. Um, any other paint wouldn't do, I don't think, because you'll not get the same results. Uh, I would like for you to get the same results and the feeling of oil. You can get yourself some brushes like, like this size or smaller, not too much smaller though, maybe about that much smaller. And uh, rubber gloves for protection for your hands and you don't want to get paint on your skin. Uh, you don't want to eat while you're handling paint or anything like that. And, uh, make sure that you work in a safe area. If you're using mediums to tin in your paint, like turpentine or any other medium, make sure that you have lots of ventilation. Um, you don't want to be breathing that in. Um, so, it's not wise to work in a food area, like a kitchen or anything like that. You should really be in an area of your own with your paints, where you're safe away from others and children and so forth. Uh, work safely and in carefully and dispose of anything carefully and safely also. Follow the rules of your laws wherever you are for such things. Uh, now these colors, the primary colors come in tubes and you can't mix them from um, any other color. They're just the primary colors, like the color of the rainbow or prism. And of course there's other things about them that you learn later as we work. Uh, so I know this is short, but I will take time for you to make this and to get your paints and go to your local art shop and enjoy yourself shopping and get their help and so forth. Looks like the sun is trying to hide again, but I hope this shows you the true colors. In the studio it didn't from my lighting. This looks like it will, because I want you to have the true colors. So I stuck it up on my kitchen door, and if the light comes brighter and darker, it's because the sun is peeking out and coming in and coming out. Uh, okay, that'll be it for this week. Uh, I hope that uh, by the time I get back with some new equipment that you would have learned a lot from this color wheel and uh, do a bit of experiment on your own if you feel you'd like to, uh, but don't get discouraged. Have fun with it and that's the main thing. So thanks for watching, thanks for um, taking the tutorials and uh, I know that you will enjoy them in the long run.